Hello and um, welcome to the auction here at the 32nd International Classic Motorcycle Show at Stafford. This is um, a 1939 HRD Rapide Series A. There's only 78, I think it was, of these made uh, before the Second World War, so they're very, very rare. Um, very, again, a very in innovative machine. It was the kind of realisation of Phil Vincent's dream um, to, to build this kind of special superbike, if, if, if you were. I mean, capable 110 mile an hour and the, only, the, the main problem that they, they found was the clutch just wasn't able to stand the, the, the immense power produced by the engine which Vincent's own engine which was built by effectively doubling up their 500cc Comet and, and Meteor models and so, yeah, so, so the heads, barrels and everything are the same as they have on the, on the single cylinder Comet which had come out in 1935 the Rapide came out for 36 originally, and as, as, as I mentioned earlier, they, they only made 78 of them over, over the three years. Very, very unusual thing. All sorts of clever bits and pieces. I mean, there's the cantilever rear suspension, which of course is uh, something that we're, we're familiar with much from, from bikes much later on. There's spring boxes up here, triangulated rear frame section. At the back, we've got dual, dual, dual rear brakes as well. So, um, and then because of the the, the sprung section on the rear it had to come up with this clever way of mounting the seat which you know this this kind of bracketry and everything else is all is all quite nice and clever and neat and gets away so that when the so when the rear suspension is going up and down the seat's not going up and down at the same rate okay quite clever okay so we've, we've got that then it's a, a berman gearbox proprietary gearbox um something that really vincent after the war when they came out with their series b they'd they'd, they'd didn't want to use a proprietary gearbox for the engine so the series b has their own own gearbox whereas this one relies on the berman um yeah then we've got the petrol tank stainless stainless steel i believe um very clever at least stainless steel sections in it i'm not, not quite 100 percent sure handlebars of vincent's famous flat pattern um which they used from about 1934 35 onwards right through to the end of production or this this kind of flat section Front we've got proprietary go to forks again. The Series B rely, relied on these these Bramptons as well, but from the C onwards, Vincent's had um, had their own hydraulic, but but the A relies on these proprietary ones. And again, there's these dual dual brakes at the front too, which means that the bike's basically got stopping power far exceeding anything else from from its period. Pretty good brakes um, and a pretty good thing all round. It's uh, very nice bike. I think the estimate on this one is something like 180 to 220 thousand pounds. So uh, it's going to be expensive. This particular bike came out of the collection of a, a guy called Brian Verrill, who was probably Britain's first real kind of classic motorcycle dealer. Now Brian had this bike in his own private collection for many many years, and eventually um, it came fortune after after Brian's death about four or five years ago, and it's it's being sold again. So it'll be interesting to see. How much it actually makes. I mean, they're expecting it to be upwards of 200,000, so we shall wait and see how it goes. Next up, lot 318. Here we have it showing in front. We're very pleased to be offering again the ex Brian Beryl 1939 Vincent HRD Series A repeat. Are sold by us when we uh, dispersed the late Brian Beryl's collection, and since then it's been in private ownership. One of its last of its kind produced before production ceased uh, at uh, Vincent's, of course. A lot of notes written about it. Well known, uh, well known machine. There's some notes on file from Mark Specialist, Conway Motors. Recording keepers that are as attached in the files, but uh, Brian acquired it in America, in fact, in about 2003. Retains its original registration number, which is good. And again, a very exciting, very important uh, motorcycle to be offering here at Stafford. We're pleased to be offering it here for its current, current private uh, museum ownership. There it is in front. Series A, Vincent HRD repeat from 1939. Ladies and gentlemen, where will you start me? £100,000 for it? £100,000 I've got. £100,000 I have. £105,000. Hundred and ten thousand. Hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty. Several bids at one hundred and fifty. One hundred and twenty. 
five, thirty, five, hundred and thirty-five thousand, hundred and forty thousand. Against the phones, one hundred and forty thousand. Bidding's here. One hundred and forty thousand. Against you. One hundred and forty. Five. One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty thousand. Against the phones. Selling all along. One hundred and fifty. Five. One hundred and sixty. Five. 165. 175. Selling all the way, so 175. 180. Five. There's two bids coming in on the left. Yours is the lead. 190. Two bids. Five. Two bids there. 195. Where do I go? 200. Bid in the room. 200,000 against the two of you now. 200,000. Any more? Nope. All done down here? 200,000 pounds. You're all done? There it is. 200,000 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all done? Last call everywhere else. Let us in the room here at Stafford of 200,000 pounds. Last call. You're all done. Your bike, sir. Thank you. 779. Congratulations, wonderful machine there.